Do you know what the survival genre doesn't have enough of? Dwarves. Today I'm taking you through at least four full-blown survival games featuring dwarves and four other games that I kind of like the look of with some dwarves in it. Yes, I said dwarven survival games. I'm so sick of doing the same old videos. 15 open world survival games you won't believe. I figured I'd mix it up a little bit and delve a little bit more sub-genre and you can't get any more sub than actually going deeper and deeper with some dwarves digging down. Let me know if any of these take your fancy and let's go tossing a dwarf. No, hang on, wait. Most likely to release first is Return to Moria. It's got an actual release date of October the 24th on the Epic Game Store and PlayStation 5. It's got physical copy editions incoming and it will be launching on Xbox in the early part of 2024. 8 player co-op on PC, 4 player co-op on console, Return to Moria is promising a procedurally generated adventure where you and your friends can delve deep and return, hopefully Moria, to the glory it once was. Set after the events of The Lord of the Rings, you are tasked with returning to Moria, fighting against trolls, goblins and maybe even more dangers. Although don't expect to see any Balrogs, you are but a humble dwarf after all, not a master wizard. It's an interesting one this, it isn't a big studio making it, it's made by a very small company and I'm guessing they got the rights to this before Embracer managed to claw them. The graphics do look a little bit dated and that's probably been the main criticism and combat looks pretty simplistic but I quite like some of the art style and I think the environments look pretty cool. There's clearly a big big emphasis on digging around, hopefully getting enough ores to improve your weapons and armour before exploring deeper and taking on harder foes. The procedural element does generate a bit of interest for me as well, maybe keeping it fresh and replayability as something that you can actually get into more and more. The idea being they've got like tile sets, you'll always come across certain style ruins or certain places of lore in the books or movies, but they will be slightly different in the way that you come across them, maybe slightly different layouts, etc. We know there's going to be some sort of base raiding possibly and the light and dark mechanics seem the most interesting aspects if they can nail it down right. Make too much noise and you'll have hordes of goblins attacking you so you'll need to build defences possibly around your bases and it looks like you can actually freeform and make bases almost anywhere in the game. So it's going to be very interesting to see if they manage to pull this off and actually mix this unique gameplay with the procedural generation and of course the usual survival crafting mechanics. Expect lots of customization for your dwarf. Yes, you can be a lady dwarf with a beard if you want to. The traders show off a plethora of customization options for your base and of course plenty of weapons and different gear and armor sets. After the disappointment of Golem, I think expectations for this aren't going to be that high. But any game that is kind of set in Lord of the Rings universe, I'm willing to take a look and just pray and hope it's actually something decent. And another plus bonus point, it's one of the few games that is arriving on console at the same time as PC. Well, at least one of them, and like I said, hopefully it will be arriving on Xbox in the early part of 2024. PvP isn't for everyone, but I do like a little bit of toxic action, and when you're only about 3 foot high, then how toxic can you really get? Well, we'll find out. Reign of Dwarves is a open world survival sandbox multiplayer game that will have PvP elements. It's going to be launching on November the 30th this year. As of this video going live, it's also got a demo available to give it a try, so hopefully you'll see some gameplay on my channel. Obviously, it is what you might imagine. Rust, but with dwarves in a medieval setting. I think that explains it pretty well. Building up your bases, maybe colluding with other fellow survivors and trying to fight or band together against other dwarves. This is going to be a big open world MMO survival game with up to 200 players per server. So I kind of like the idea of this one. Yes, it may look a bit goofy, but as long as the actual mechanics are there and the actual fun is there with either working things out with friends, maybe forging alliances, then this could be something interesting. It's got first person, it's got third person and an emphasis on crafting, but not all just medieval weapons with a light element of steampunk added to it as well. So if you've always wanted to kill other players in a toxic environment, in a cosy setting, then maybe this one's the one. I'm definitely going to be giving the demo a shot, and like I said, it's available now, you can give it a try. It does look pretty cool, it even has some pretty gnarly boss fights to go up against as well. First Dwarf is more of an action-adventure single-player survival game, where you get to run around as a dwarf, 
in your mech suit. I did nearly make this video with a couple of editions of mech games and called it the top 10 dwarven mech survival games you need to know about, but I decided to maybe leave their mech games for another day. Now I said a single player, it does look like they're going to be adding split screen co-op to it as well. And it's a pretty unique premise, running around as I said as a dwarf, hopefully upgrading and getting better mech suits to maybe get resources in a world filled with floating islands and different races and in fact your own pet little dragon that you can utilize to fly and maybe hover and see what kind of resources are around as well as maybe singe a few enemies. It's colourful, it's cartoony, there is no release date as of yet but they've been doing a big marketing push in the last few months with lots of different expo shows so fingers crossed we get to see some news about release. I'm going to guess potentially at the start of 2024. Does look like it's got a more of an emphasis as well on base building and base defense. Also the idea that you'll be able to power up and utilize different components to give yourself defenses and the crafting stations you need with a pretty cool colorful interface. I'm just really pleased to see a developer actually thinking about couch co-op for once and it does look pretty cool with these kind of infected big creatures coming along and taking them out hopefully to survive another day. No info as yet on console releases, but they seem to have controller support implemented pretty well already, so it won't be too surprised if we don't hear news about it once they get their PC release out of the way. And I'll be looking forward to some sort of demo in the future, hopefully. Return to Nangrim is an old one. It's been featured on many upcoming survival crafting video lists, I am sure. It is still going. They're still working on it digitally with lots of updates talking about progress, lore and world building. They've still got a demo up and available, I do believe right now too. But as of yet, no actual release date. This is definitely a more realistic take on Dwarven lore. Return to Nangrim is going to be a single player experience with a real big focus on the forging of your weapons. It's a big component of the crafting elements, although there is going to be combat and exploring maybe special little mini open worlds. I don't think it's quite as expansive as some of the other games we've already seen. I have found out today, apparently zombies are going to be part of this world. Yeah, okay, mixing up the genres a little bit there, as well as other enemies that you'll have to fight against and obviously use to good effect the weapons that you're crafting. So an interesting one, been in development a ton of time, a whole bunch of YouTubers have showcased it in the past, and yeah, that deep focus on the crafting elements, I'm sure will keep a lot of people happy that really just like to maybe chew a little bit more if they can withstand maybe some of the dangers, and of course the more harsher survival elements. I'm still not really going to say I expect to release until at some point in the middle of 2024. So these next four aren't technically full-blown survival games, as I said, but I do think there's enough crossover with some of them that have got elements of it, and they all feature dwarves. What do you want from me? This is Dwarf Delve. It's more of a procedurally generated roguelike, where you're running through mines, digging up resources, and hopefully they're not going to collapse in on you. It doesn't look to have too many actual survival mechanics, other than that idea that things may go south and you may lose all of your progress that you've been digging for maybe a good while for. So almost an extraction style game. It's got some pretty cool, nice, pretty pixelated graphics, but yeah, probably just on the cusp there of not being a true survival game. But keep it on your radar and it should be coming out at some point in 2024. Below the Stone is a top-down pixelated 2D style game where you are going below the stone to dig up obviously resources, capture loot and make it out alive. It's so more of a dungeon crawler than an actual true survival game, but I like the look of this one, I kept an eye on it for a while and it's got a dwarf in it, what do you want? This one's actually releasing on 17th of November, so if you like these cute 2D games, go and give it a try. Steam only at first, but hopefully maybe other platforms in the future, it doesn't look like it's going to be that taxing. And finish it off, not one, but two Deep Rock Galactic games now. Just announced this week, this is Rogue Core. It's going to be a roguelike first person shooter game for one to four players in the Deep Rock Galactic universe. It's basically Deep Rock Galactic, but without the actual digging, although the indestructible environments are returning. So a bit of an odd one, feels like it could have been a DLC or a direct sequel almost, but we decided to give it another name. We will be venturing into dark, deep caves and maybe installations as we try and get a brand new Knight material that's going to allow us to upgrade our weapons, get new suits, gear and items to survive a bit longer. I think it is blending that extraction shooter style vibe to it too. 
If the gunplay is super tight, I'm going to be very keen on trying this out. I mean, who am I kidding? I'm definitely going to be playing it. I love Deep Rock Galactic. And I think this looks pretty cool from the small teaser that I've given most recently. Don't expect a release date anytime soon though, it's only still in very early development. I wouldn't expect it until at least the end of 2024 and hopefully coming to other platforms since they did a good job with Deep Rock Galactic hitting everywhere. I can't wait to be shell in rock and stone once again and don't have to panic, Deep Rock Galactic is still being developed as they're preparing a new season. The second Deep Rock Galactic game got announced a good while ago now and it looks likely to be releasing towards the end of the year. It is a Vampire Survivors inspired clone. So yeah, Vampire Survivors has obviously inspired a whole bunch of games like these coming out most recently. If I'm going to play any one of them though, it's definitely going to be one that's got Deep Rock Galactic on the title. Let me know if any of these Dwarven games have tickled your fancy and let me have some ideas about what this video is you want to see soon. Thanks a lot for watching, leave a like and I'll see you at bags later.